Thank you for joining me for this 30 minute chair yoga class. Make sure you have a sturdy chair and you have a band or a strap, something you can hold in both hands and it's long enough that when you put your foot in the middle, you can straighten your leg out of it while still holding on to it. And we won't use the strap to start with so you can set it down and we'll come back to it again later. So make sure you're sitting comfortably, up nice and straight and tall, with your feet flat on the floor and your knees lined up straight in front of you as much as you can. Now remember, if I suggest something in this class that does not work for your body, it's okay to break free and do whatever it is that feels comfortable or needed for your body at that time. Try to move as much as you can. So letting your hips relax, your spine lengthening up, and breathe with your belly. Inhaling, let your belly expand. Exhaling, contracting in and up. If your mind wanders during class, just notice where it wanted to go and then gently bring it back again to your body and your breath. Good, and then with your hands either beside you or comfortably on your lap, your spine extending up nice and tall through the top of your head, and we're going to stretch your neck. It's okay to tilt to one side, or if you like to circle your head, try not to go so far back that you feel crunching at the back. Pausing in any places that need attention. Maybe using your hand to tilt your head farther. It's okay to turn your face down toward the floor or up toward the ceiling. And take your time, paying attention to how your body feels. Remember, we don't want any sharp shooting pain or numbness throughout class. Just finding those places that need to be loosened up. Good, and then straightening up, your shoulders down and back. We're going to inhale one arm up and over and exhale back, alternating sides. As you're reaching your arm up, stretch your side up toward the ceiling as much as you can. And it's okay if you can't do the full movement. Again, just finding where your body's comfortable moving on each side. And then holding on one side, keeping your side stretching up toward the ceiling and your arm across. It's okay to rotate your body down towards the floor or up toward the ceiling. You can flow through this motion or pause in any place that feels nice or needed. Maybe moving your wrist in circles, letting your body soften and stretch. And trading sides, inhaling the other arm up, letting your side extend up toward the ceiling, and maybe rotating down and up. Maybe moving your wrist.
Good, releasing back to center, sitting up nice and straight and tall again. Inhaling both arms up, exhale and twist. Inhaling back up to center, exhale to the other side. And continuing to alternate sides, it's okay to use the chair and your leg for leverage to twist a little more deeply if that's comfortable. Keeping your spine extending up nice and tall. And then holding on this side, your spine still extending up, let the twist start in your hips and work your way up comfortably. Breathing with your belly. And trading sides, inhaling up to center, exhale to the other side. And letting the twist start in your hips, working your way up, and breathing with your belly. And back to center again, adjusting your shoulders back and down and shifting forward a little bit in the chair so you have a little bit more room. We're going to inhale as we tilt forward and exhale as you round back. So when you're exhaling back, tucking your belly in as much as you can. And I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And if you'd like to add a little sway to the left and the right and the back or at the front, if that feels nice. Excellent. And then we're going to come up to standing beside our chair. And we're going to do a warrior flow. So make sure you can hold on to your chair comfortably. One foot in front of you and your back leg behind. And the foot in front, we want to bend our knee just a little and make sure you can wiggle your toes on the front. And then your back leg, nice and straight. You want to tilt your hips up at the front so you're tucking your belly in, keeping your ribs tucked down and your shoulders back. And then inhaling one arm up, exhale and bow. And if you're comfortable letting go in the chair and doing this with both arms, feel free. Making sure that you're balanced and you're challenging yourself just enough. Now with your back foot, it's okay to keep your foot pointing forward or turn it out to the side. And then this time after inhaling up, we're going to exhale and open to the side. Inhaling up, facing forward, exhale and open your arms up. And again, remember you can turn your back foot if that's more comfortable. And remember as you're inhaling forward to bring your hips forward, exhaling and turning your hips to open to the side. Good, and then coming up to standing and trading sides. Again, make sure you can wiggle your toes on the front foot. Your back leg's nice and straight, with your foot on any angle you like. Lifting your hips up, your shoulders back. Inhale up, exhale and bow. And then inhaling up, exhale and open to the side. Turning your back foot if you like, inhaling up, bring your hips forward, exhaling to the side, let your hips open up with you.
Good, and then coming up to standing for balancing. With your feet lined up under your hips, let your knees be soft, your hips lifting up at the front. Keep your ribs tucked down. And then when you're ready, you can lift one leg. Now remember to keep your standing leg and knee just a little bit bent so it's soft, letting the muscles strengthen. You can swing your other leg that's in the air or hold it still. And it's okay to stay holding the chair or letting go. Again, finding a comfortable movement for your body. Good, and trading sides. Your feet lined up underneath your knees and your hips. Your knees a little soft, hips lifting up at the front, shoulders back, and lifting your leg when you're ready. Keeping that standing leg with a little softness in your knee, letting your leg strengthen. Excellent. And then turning so you can place your hands on the seat of the chair. And then walking your feet back to a comfortable position. We're going to come up onto our toes, letting weight push down into our hands. And back down. So lifting your heels. And back down when you're ready. And if you're not comfortable lifting your heels, just leaning forward as much as you can. Pushing weight into your hands. Excellent. And then we're going to stretch down. So keeping your hands either on the seat of the chair or on the back of the chair, if that feels better. And then letting your chest stretch down, your arms reaching out as much as you can. It's okay to keep your legs a little straighter or have more of a bend in your knees, finding what's comfortable for your body. Breathing with your belly and letting your body stretch. Good, and releasing, we're going to come to the front of our chair, standing in front of it, so you're ready to sit down. And with your feet and your knees lined up in front of you again, underneath your hips, inhaling your arms up, exhale and lower yourself down towards the chair, moving with your breath. Now it's okay if you sit down all the way and then come all the way back up. It's good to practice that full motion of relaxing and coming all the way up.
Good. And this time all the way down to sitting, we're going to pick up our strap and holding it in your hands. You want to have your hands far enough apart that you'll feel a nice stretch as you reach your arms up and back. So if you have a band like I do or something softer, you may need to fold it in two so you get a little more resistance or you might need your hands farther apart for less resistance. So find what's comfortable and you can twist to the left or right, keeping your spine extending up nice and tall, letting your shoulders go back and down and moving your hands to a height where you feel a nice stretch across the front of your shoulders and your chest. Good. And releasing that, we're going to put the strap around one foot. And holding the strap in both hands or one hand, whichever way you prefer. And then try lifting your leg up as far as you're comfortable lifting it, making sure the strap is comfortable around your foot. And again, your chest up, your spine nice and tall. And you can point your toes, flex your foot or circle it. Lifting your leg up as far as you're comfortable lifting. You can take your leg out to the side or reach it across in front of you a little. And find those places in your leg that need attention, letting them relax and stretch. Good, and then bringing your foot in, crossing it on the other leg, wherever it's comfortable for you to have it. And we're gonna practice rotating our knee outward. So it's okay to use the strap still on your foot to take it off, whichever way you like. And with one hand on your knee, pushing outward. And again, you can circle your ankle, maybe tilting your belly forward. And I'm just turning so you can see what I'm doing from the side. Let your hips relax and stretch. your knee with the opposite hand. So if it's your right knee, use your left hand to pick it up, sitting up nice and straight and tall and twisting to look behind you. Let that twist start in your hips and work your way up. Breathing with your belly, letting your hips relax and twist. releasing back to center, we'll trade legs. So your strap around your foot, lifting your leg up, make sure your chest is up, shoulders back and down, your spine extending up, lifting your leg up and moving your foot, pointing and flexing or circling, maybe taking your leg out to one side. And find what your leg needs, where it needs to be stretched, and take your time. Crossing your foot over on the other leg as far as you're comfortable going. Practicing rotating your knee outward. 
So pushing out on your knee, maybe tilting your belly forward if you like, circling your ankle if you want. Applying what this hip needs to relax, letting it soften. Good, and then picking that knee up with the opposite hand. Your spine up straight and tall as you let a twist start in your hips and work your way up. Feeling a nice stretch in through your outer leg and your hip into your back. And breathing with your belly. And releasing back to center with both feet flat on the floor, your knees lined up in front of you, sitting up straight and tall, and then bringing your palms together. We're going to inhale as we rotate our hands away from us, turning so the backs come together and continuing to open palms, and then exhaling back. Again, I'm just turning to the side so you can see my hands moving. Inhaling out and exhaling back. When the backs of your hands are touching, you can raise your hands up higher. And when you bring your palms together, you can lower your hands for more of a stretch if that's comfortable. Try to let the surfaces of your hands touch as much as you comfortably can. Good, and then bringing your arms up in front so your palms are facing you. Cross your elbows or your forearms as much as you can, turning your palms to face each other in eagle arms. And then inhaling your arms up, exhaling, sliding them down. Inhaling up toward the ceiling, exhaling down. You can keep your spine extending up toward the ceiling, top of your head stretching up as you slide your arms up and down. And trading sides, palms towards each other, inhaling up, exhaling down. Good, and then releasing your arms, and we're going to take some time and circle each thumb and finger, focusing on the joint where your finger meets your hand. Now you can circle, or you can bend your finger, and then holding near the knuckle, turning it left and right, just a little. Remember, we're focusing on that joint where your finger meets your hand. Just take your time with each one, letting it move and loosen up.
Good. And then you can take a moment and stretch your hands back. And then stretching your hands downward, stretching the backs of your forearms. Good. And shaking your hands out. And then getting comfortable for the relaxation. So it's okay to sit up straight and tall or lean back in your chair. Again, your feet and knees lined up with your hips out front. Let your hips relax, spine lengthening up as you breathe with your belly. Let your feet and your legs become soft and resting heavily down. Your hips and pelvis buttocks and back soft and supportive let your sides and belly chest and organs be soft and flowing your neck and throat tongue and jaw, face and eyes, head and ears, be soft and floating. And then going down your shoulders and arms to your wrists and hands fingers and thumbs, soft and heavy, resting down. And with each exhale, let yourself soften deeper and deeper down. Good. And then wiggling your fingers and toes, stretching out if that feels nice. Letting your body wake up as much or as little as you want. And then taking a nice big breath in as you reach up high. Bring your palms together, exhaling your palms down in front of you. And namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you feel good. If you'd like to meet my puppies, keep watching and you'll see Babe, our one-year-old black lab, and Maple, our four-year-old beagle mix.